Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad. Let me show you what I got for you today. Today, we are going to be looking at the biggest and baddest 22 ammo out there on the market today. Now, this is not the fastest, but it is the hardest hitting. All three of these rounds are rated to go about 1400 feet per second, and they're all 40 grain bullets. The Winchester and the Velocitor are hollow points, and the Aguila has kind of a flat nose, and they all are hitting with about 200 foot pounds of energy, which is quite a lot for a 22 round. We're going to run our hot little 22s through a couple of different tests. We're going to take a look at what kind of speed they're getting with the chronograph, see if the manufacturer's numbers are matching with our experience out here in the field. Then we're going to take a look at how they do against some real world targets. Here's our ballistic modeling clay. We'll try and catch the bullets, see if they expand, what kind of damage they do. And then we've got our small game simulator. It's got a tough skin and a meaty interior. And instead of shooting it this way, pew, we're going to shoot it this way, I think, because pew, 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 these are our big daddy 22 rounds, and we want to see maybe if they'll go all the way through and blow up the can in new and interesting ways. And then finally, just a little plinking target. We'll take the uh, delicious Mountain Dew out there, and we'll take a crack at them and see if there's any difference on the Mountain Dew with the three different rounds. But first, I'm going to take it out to 25 yards and see what kind of grouping we're getting with these bullets. Because if we can't hit a 25, then you're pretty much useless. The firearm I'm going to be using today is the Bare Bones Basic Ruger 1022. It's got a 18 and a half inch barrel, and we have a Athlon Midas BTR 2.5 to 15 scope on top of it. First up, the Winchester Hyper Velocity. Next up, the Aguila Interceptor. Finally, the CCI Velocity. Before I take this target down, I just wanted to show you something. Um, here are the results of our test. That's Winchester, that's Aguila, that's the CCI Veloster. But uh, the thing I want to show you here is um, you can see there, got the bullets hole going in there. And on the back side, this is a 2x6. Those uh, bullets had no problem smashing through that 2x6 and totally tearing it up. So these are some pretty hot rounds. Alright, let's check out velocities. First up, the Winchester. Now the Aguila Velocity.
Finally, let's check out that Aguila ammo velocity. Let's take a look at those numbers, if I can manage not to screw up anymore. For our speed results, the Winchester is advertised 1435 feet per second. We got a 1462, and that added up to 189 foot-pounds of energy. The Aguila has an advertised velocity of 1470. It came in quite a bit lower at 1365. And that adds up to 165 foot-pounds of energy. And then the Veloster has an advertised velocity of 1435. Again, we're a good bit under with our recordings at 1319 and 154 foot-pounds of energy. Next test is the reactive targets. We're going to start with the Winchester ammo. We're going to shoot that dog food and then the pop can. Next up is our Aguila Interceptor on the reactive targets. And finally, for the reactive targets, we've got the CCI Veloster. take a look at the results. This is the carnage from our reactive targets test. Let's start over here with the CCI Velocitor. Pop can ripped apart. Yeah, no match for that ammo. Our small game simulator here is the entrance and from the slow-mo you can see it blew that back out. The can is not hugely deformed, maybe a little bit, but nothing crazy. And here's a lid that got blown off, and you can kind of see how it exited there. And it looks like there is a uh, little bit of expansion there. Next up is our Aguila Interceptor on that pop can. It uh, decapitated it, totally ripped up. I think even more than the Velocitor. On our dog food, she went in. Came out, again, not a huge amount of deformation on the can, but uh, definitely launched it off the uh, stand and tore it up pretty good. And I think that this um, exit looks a little bit bigger than our Veloster exit, but hard to tell, really. And then finally, we've got the Winchester ammo. And I haven't done all the number crunching yet or looked at the results from our target testing, but I'm pretty sure this guy is gonna be our most inaccurate ammo but definitely our most powerful ammo. When it hit this pop can, it ripped it in half, totally exploded this thing. And then on the dog food, popped in there, came out there, and you can see there's a good bit of difference between this can and our other two cans. This one is really deformed, and when I picked it up, it got launched probably about 10 feet double or triple the distance of the other two. 
and on the exit again kind of hard to say what kind of expansion we got because we don't have the bullet but uh, it looks pretty similar to the results of the other two all right final test of the day we're gonna look at the ballistic modeling clay I'm gonna take all six shots of the clay and then take a look at the results afterwards Here is our ballistic modeling clay. We've got one, two, gonna be the Winchester, one, two, the Aguila, and these bottom two are the CCI Velocitor. The only shots that went all the way through are these two right here, one Winchester and one Aguila. And here are the recovered bullets. Winchester got beat up pretty bad, went all the way through, pretty well deformed, looks like it shed a lot of uh, its weight in there. The Aguila, on the other hand, held together well, mushroomed out nicely, and um, went straight through. I'm going to try and open this up and dig around a little bit. Let's see how well I can uh, show what the inside looks like. And here's a picture of the inside of that block. As you can see, it is pretty well mangled up there. Can't really distinguish one channel from another unfortunately I shot them too close but I did capture all the bullets and here we can take a look at those the Winchester came apart a little bit the hollow point lip separating from the back end of the bullet but both of the Aguila and Veloster ammo held together really well and mushroomed out really well the Aguila showing as much uh, mushrooming as the Veloster even though it didn't actually have a hollow point so first conclusion for the day is I gotta clean up my range. Look at all that junk over there. As for the ammo, let's do a quick rundown. Winchester, what's awesome about it? It is as fast or faster than what they have listed on the box. Pretty cool. What's not so awesome? The accuracy. Also the bullets didn't hold together very well going through that ballistic clay target. As for the interceptor and the velocitor, we're gonna lump them together I think. They were remarkably similar in performance, and the biggest disappointment with them is they both were almost 10% slower than what the box advertised. But they both performed really well on the accuracy test, and both of their hollow points or flat noses expanded really well, so the bullet technology for both these guys worked really well. Judging from the results of the reactive target test, any of these three types of ammo are plenty to wreck a squirrel or raccoon's day within 25 yards. But if I had to choose one of these three to be my choice for the best, I think I would go with the Aguila Interceptor. And while I like that the Winchester is the fastest and the most powerful, I think that accuracy is going to win the day for me. And that little bit of extra power the Aguila has over the CCI Veloster. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.